All right, welcome back. I figured out what the issue was on the last video. So if we go inside, uh, it was just a misnaming of something in the files. Um, oops. Okay, so if you notice, I got it set to standard. When we go outside and use control J, the main boom's not moving. Okay, now we go back inside, shift that to heavy, go back outside, use control J. Now you got your RPMs going up. Just give it a sec and the boom will move. Um, this is nice because this allows you to adjust the derrick boom. So if I move just the derrick, it's going to move all three booms. It's going to do the SA arm, the derrick, and your main boom. But if I uh, move the uh, main boom opposite of what I'm doing the derrick, then it will allow you to adjust just the derrick boom. And what that is for is that allows you to adjust how far out your tray is. Okay. Um, because that tray, the further back it goes, the more leverage it has on your cranes, the more weight you can lift. All right. Uh, as you can see, I've already got some of the trays out because this is the third attempt on this video. Because <laughs> um, before I didn't have, there's a few issues, but I got it corrected. We're all good now. Um, so I've got the Vario tray and the B2 attacher. Um, so this is just the ballast tray. And this is the B configuration. We can go into the store. So you got your tray. It's going to come like this. You can change colors. Um, when you assemble it, there's IC nodes at the back here near the ladders that will raise each one of these up and allow you to do the attaching. Um, this middle section, this bottom, can actually detach from this middle so you can have different amounts of weight very very easily just by pulling four pins out of this in real life um, so you've got a stack of weights here a stack of weights here and two stacks up top the other piece i've got is the b2 lattice so you can, it comes in 15 17 or 20 meter lengths and that's going to push the ballast tray further aft than it would just with the derrick and here again you can change colors just like that I only pulled the Vario tray, so this is 100 tons, so this is it's 10 of these uh, weights. Um, so this would, if you want to do max ballast, you would do just this for the center section, and then this uh, 240 ton for the outside. Uh, so you'd stack those all on the outside. These go in the middle here. So we're already in place to, to attach it. So I'm going to go ahead and attach it. Um, you'll notice that it's sort of lifting the crane up, which is not good. So what we're going to have to do is where the derrick boom is at now, we're going to have to use these hydraulic rams to help raise it up. That also makes it limited to how far aft you can go. But as you can see, as we move the derrick, sort of forward and aft, it changes the ballast tray as well. Um, and in this case, you can use those hydraulic rams to help keep the ballast tray close to the ground. Um, and like I said before, you can detach this lower ballast tray and just have the center ballast. So it gives you a much greater range of ballasting options than, uh, than just having a, the original tray. The original tray was just this middle piece with ballast directly on the middle here without that added tray. So you've got extra weight doing all this. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you next is the B2 configuration um, with that extra arm there. Actually, I'm going to go back inside. Get this move so it's not going to attach 
there. Alright, it's a lot easier to get this attached um, using a helper crane. to do it the way I'm doing it right now. Basically it hooks, I believe, right there. It's either right there or on the bottom section. There we go. Okay. So we've got that. Now we're going to lower. There we can lower this down. We'll keep on moving forward relative to the way the crane is facing. It's actually backwards, so that my steering is a little backwards. But as you can see with this, those pull rods are not vertical anymore, and so it's really pushing. That's too much weight for what we actually got on the other end. <laughs> you can see we're pop a little bit of a wheelie. So you can see you wouldn't really attach the the, bear, the the ballast tray until you're ready to do your heavy lift and you're already attached to your head. You your detach your, your load and then you detach the, the derrick ballast to get that lifted. Because if I try to lift this now to get it up off the ground I don't have enough weight on the front so I also don't have the hooks, which can weigh a lot too. Um, so right now I'm very limited in what I can do. But we'll get that detached. So that's that's the B2 ballast. And I'm just going to detach the entire thing just like that. And get this pulled out of the way. The next thing we're going to do... gotta love farm sim physics is we'll get the uh, so ballast tra this ballast tray um, just adds two more weight sections it gets attached directly right here so it doesn't use these arms so if you're not using them you can get them folded back up close in. Um, but the ballast tray just connects right there. It's a lot easier to use another crane to set it up or have someone help you. Um, but it has a ballast stack here and a ballast stack here. And this center section is just for storage. Okay. Then the last ballast I'm going to show you guys is... I think I did orange for that is this ballast wagon right so you can build it and you'll you'll attach the ladder and you'll attach that middle section which is just bought or you can do it pre-built i'm gonna do it pre-built just for trying to make this video shorter i really don't like that we'll do it this way that looks better okay so with this there's a ballast stack here, a ballast stack there, a ballast stack on the middle, a ballast stack here, a ballast stack there. And again, these arms get lifted up so that uh, uh, for assembly and getting attached to the grain. So you can see that this arm here looks exactly like that arm. It's supposed to, because it is that arm, but that, it gives you options for role play and stuff like that. So we're going to get this moved into position, sort of here. All right, so we need those legs down. I remember correctly, I thought I had a, maybe it's just on the other ladder. OK, so we're going to climb up hit that 
climb on over here, hit that icy node, and we're going to, oops, I keep on hitting that higher button. Go back into this again. I suggest doing a better job of getting it all lined up. Especially if you have a ballast on it. Okay, so we can attach. You can see I did orange for the center section. Well, okay. All right, so very similar controls. You will need to lower your cylinders, your derrick cylinders, to get it down. Okay, then you will need to come back out and raise that. And you'll have weight stacked on there. Now with this, you can extend the ballast wagon and bring it back in so it should be shift yep there we go so that was all that so it's all the way in here Oop, it's getting close yeah it's all the way in there so that's as close in as you can get it but then you can extend it out and that just gives you more weight towards the rear It is a slow process. Um, with the shift, you can also steer. So like if we needed to, um, if we needed to drive off in that direction, we could. Um, there's also less shift control. So let's get it back. You can also turn them like this using left shift control, comma, and slash. What that's going to do is it's going to allow you to rotate the turntable and have the this ballast wagon rotate correctly with you. So here we go. And then let's say that's the position we don't want it to be in. Rotate them back. <clears throat> it is complex, but I don't know. I think it's fun. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to do shift to bring these in line with our tracks. So right about there. So now we can track just like that and keep that ballast and keep the ballast with us. Um, so that's all the ballast. Oh, yes. Last thing. These. So, what these are, are these are static support legs, right? What they do is there are brackets on the outside here that those get attached to. So I gotta get a crane. Let me... I sold my other one just to try to make it easier. Okay. So here you can lift just like you can. 
we lift them with a crane. down right here. All right, so what I need to do is I need to detach each of these so that I can then lift them. All right, so I'm going to keep backing up. And you get these put in right there. And what these are for is when you're when you have really really long booms that you're assembling. And here I can attach those. There we go. Then when you get out, if I remember correctly, yep, you use IC to get them good into the ground. Just like that. And what they're for is to help provide the crane greater stability while you're trying to lift up those big booms. So you can put them on both sides of that. So, all right. Thank you.